fire at all. Tim and I don't need a... And we're He's back. back. There we are. <laughs> Absolutely. I was Gasping just sitting there talking about with some fire. Pork Chris ball. over there. Uh, you know, we the might, of might tell the public that we actually were on a bus trip yesterday. And, and of course, Chris Kelso is our, always our amazing host on that bus. And he gets up and he talks and he sings on occasion. Lot, and so you did that for and a full day. A and, and you did start out with that greater voice. And so now we're about to lose it. So we're going to be respectful of that. Well, the good thing is, is, I do know by tomorrow, I'll probably lose it a little bit. Yeah, we don't care. But Monday <laughs> is a holiday, so I can I can relax one more day before we uh, get Yeah, well, it's going. a holiday for you, but it's not. <laughs> that is true. Anyhow, so I'm really excited. Actually, I talked to this young woman, oh gosh, about a year or so ago about coming on the show. And I said, you know what? I'm going to pick up the phone and ask her again. This is Claudia Price from Keller Williams, Greater Northwest. Welcome to the show. Yay. Oh, thank you for having me. Yes. I, I don't think it was until she saw me, though, dressed up as an elf that she felt comfortable, though. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you know, we, we got to grab people's attention any way that we can. That so. is true. So talk about it. You've been in the business for a while. Uh, talk about, you know, when you got in the business how you got in the business, and maybe even answer why you got in the business. What were you thinking? <laughs> uh, well, I started in the mortgage industry, um, and then in 2008, I, you know, when it went down, I got out of it, and um, I was living in the in the Heights area and had moved to the Cypress area, uh, so the house we were leasing, we actually were trying to buy it until we got that knock on the door that said, your, your house has just been foreclosed on. Oh, my. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, um, and so, yeah, that's how I got into business. The person who came over, um, uh, Stacy Sutter, uh, came in and said, well, n- no, you're, you're going to have to move out. Well, it turned out we ended up uh, staying in the home. We ended up um, buying that home. And um, while uh, Stacy was doing his BPOs, I just said, hey, you know, I'm, I'm looking for something to do. And said, I need a buyer's agent. I'm like, what's a buyer's agent? And so uh, that's how I got into it. He interviewed me a couple of times. And um, uh, the day he called me to, um, to say, hey, I, you know, I, I want you to, to start real estate school. My mom had passed away that morning. So I said, oh, hey, wow. um, timing wasn't exactly perfect no it wasn't and so he said um so i said i'll hire someone else and he said no i I want you take three weeks three three months um i'll wait and so it took about six months because it was all of a sudden so we had all these probate issues and whatnot so uh six months later he called and said are you ready to go to real estate school i said absolutely and of course stacy's a great guy of course he's He's now a great guy berkshire hathaway home (laughs) services anderson properties but uh, yes that's okay he used Um, to be part of red day Uh, Uh, he used to be part of the the keller williams uh premier over there and so yes uh, yeah he he recognizes talent and he he's a take no prisoners kind of guy right if he saw something in you uh, there's it's there that, it's that fire in the belly type of thing so he, he's uh really when he's working putting together a team it's uh kind of like his way or the highway well, well great absolutely. time to give <laughs> great time to tell stacy thank you very much for bringing in one of the great professionals in our yeah, industry no kidding because right she has she yes. has knocked it out of the park yep for for several years and you actually were with a signature for a period of time the Keller Williams office there. No, yeah, I started off with Premier, right? Um, but I've been at Keller Williams agents. Okay, it was at Premier. I was, was once again mistaken. I should do better research, right? <laughs> no, it was it was Premier Signature. Okay, yeah, okay, Greater Northwest. Oh, I know. Okay, <laughs> okay, I did get that right. That okay. You're a but I've always been at Keller Williams. Agents. Yes, yes. <laughs> If you're the realtor on the other side of one of Claudia's transactions, I'm just telling you now, you better bring it, and you better know what you're you talking about. You better close it, too, by God. <laughs> you will be exposed if you are any kind of a lightweight. <laughs> Forget it. Yeah, that's, your, that's uh, Claudia's really well known for taking care of her clients and mm-hmm. fighting for her clients. And anecdotally, told me a little story. That, well, we won't go through the whole story, yeah. but basically – uh, it looked like something was going to go south, and she got on the phone and basically said, this thing is not going south, and I expect to see your clients there today. Mm-hmm. And, and they showed up. And they showed up. With a smile. <laughs> so, <laughs> you scared them. <laughs> uh-huh. you scared them. So no. you work the Cypress market also, and you work Katie. So what are you seeing in the marketplace right now? Well, I live out in the Cypress area, and that I've been out there for about oh, 10 years now. So the growth out there is just I mean, it's amazing to see all these new developments. Um, you have lots of uh, lots of uh, new builders uh, coming in. A lot of communities coming in, 
And Bridge um, Bridgeland, for instance, you know, they're finally building out. There, you have that education park coming. Um, you got new schools out there. I mean, there's just such a big growth. And, and you got all the shopping going on right yeah. now. I mean, yeah. everyone's, I think, that outlet center yeah. out there in Cyprus all the time. When I pass by it, I don't think it. I don't think that you can ever find a parking spot because it's so packed. I mean, but yeah. that's been a huge boon to the to the area. You know, the areas like uh, what I used to call affectionately Farfield, <laughs> not that far anymore. No, you know, no. it's kind of gotten close in. You get out to have that Mishki Road area and things mm-hmm. like that, where we actually have a fairly new capital title that's located out there. Right. It used to be like forever to get out there, and now it's like, oh, that's part of it, in town almost. But you do have one issue, 290. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is you're going to be really, kill. yeah? They uh, they are uh, supposed to be building that along the uh, Hempstead Highway that toll system. That you think that'll alleviate a lot of that congestion, or it's hard you know to what? say. I mean, I I think it will for sure. But I mean, you got to remember, there's so many people moving to Houston every single day. So I'm hoping to alleviate some of it. But I I think that you know it's still going to be pretty busy. But, you know, even with 290, though, mm-hmm. you've got so many things that are, I mean, you've now got 99 that can cross over. Mm-hmm. You're, by next month, you'll have 99 that can cross up to the woodlands. You can take 290 down. You have some, a lot of the side roads that you can get. Yeah. It's really amazing to see. I mean, a lot of people try to go to 290 because it's the straightest way, but there's a lot of ways to avoid 290 and still get to places pretty fast. I mean, I, I know whatever hours of day it is. When somebody calls me up there, I have to be over there off of Mushki or, you know, down by Bridgeland. I, I take back roads all the time. To yeah, get that's places. what I do. And yeah. I always thought well. someone had to come out with a book, Greed of Houston Driving. Right. You know, what parking lots to cross through and you know, <laughs> what, what, what back roads to take and things like that might be a big boon, especially for newcomers coming in. Mm-hmm. But there, I mean, you can get around in town. And, and again, I, I always pick my time, which I have the you know flexibility that I can do that, but not everybody does. Oh, yeah. No. After 2.30, I know I'm not getting on there. Right. <laughs> I need to show something <laughs> Okay, town. I'm going to have to, my, oh, I'm sorry, I can't make it. <laughs> I have to admit, I don't, I, there's some, some hours, no matter what hour it is, I'm like 2.90, I'm taking an alternate route. <laughs> Because, I mean, it's always, especially right now, you have portions of it under construction, mm-hmm. you know, so it does, you never know when they're going to be, you know, taking something down to two two lanes, let's say, because they've got to move out a little bit and, and doing some construction that day. But, you know, everything going out in, in, in Cyprus right now, I mean, you're just seeing, a hu- just very similar to what Katie is, you're seeing a huge amount of development going on, obviously from Coles Crossing all the way out, uh, Fairfield, as you talked about, some of the new stuff going even further out. And it's a lot of, what's really neat is within, I see this more than anything out in Cyprus, a lot of that crossover from like country living, where mm-hmm. people want to have a horse in their backyard mm-hmm. in a barn, you know, you're seeing, you still see a lot of that and, and it's pretty prevalent out there. I get a lot of clients still looking for, for country acreage, you know, that still want to bring horses, you know, right. you know, and no restrictions and, but there's just not a lot of that. Well, one side of 290, you can still have them. It's the right. other side. <laughs> well, you can have that hockey area and things like yeah. that. There's a lot of still farm and ranch being mm-hmm. sold out there. I, right. Uh, I guess this is the time to go out and get it before it becomes, you know, city again, because it used to be, I could say when uh, Fairfield was first built, I was going, yeah. oh my gosh. Yeah. But all the developments between uh, Cyprus and Tomball, there's just so many new communities. Well, you know, I rode my new Harley out to Tomball the other day. Of course, I got a toll road now. 249 is all toll road. You can just bypass everything. It was like, yep, wow. Tomball, which used to be country, country, Mm -hmm. city, city. Yeah, uh, It's just amazing to see. Yeah, Magnolia, same thing. You see a lot of new communities. And and what's neat, though, is some of the the older towns are now starting to get redeveloped again. You look at old, you look at Magnolia, you look at Tomball, mention those two. We talked about Katy, for example. Mm-hmm. The old towns, I love seeing this, as they're getting surrounded by the newer subdivisions and the newer developments, they're starting to bring people back in, and you're starting to see the combination of these older towns that have some established businesses with some new businesses going on. Mm-hmm. And it's really neat. You mentioned you're riding your bike, but it's really neat when you drive through some of these towns now and you see some of those new developments. More importantly, you see small businesses coming back into the community. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and that's always a lot of fun. Yeah, that's what a, a rising tide lifts all boats. That's ex- exactly we right. A rising tide in here, and it's not like this. It's not like this everywhere. You know, so I think we all need to be appreciative of the atmosphere we have here, and people moving here. We have a vibrant population growth, and we have a vibrant economy. And you know, it's not like this everywhere. And yeah, I think it's a good thing when you have that. You also get people who can live and work and not have to commute, mm-hmm. right? Because you got a lot of businesses happening out there in those areas, and that, I always love seeing that because uh, that that kind of makes it uh, make sense to me it's like if right. everybody's li- li- uh, you know living way out and then not everyone's driving in the city that that makes you know zero sense but if it makes sense if you you've got a vibrant economy out in katie you got a vibrant economy in cyprus and it's it's almost self-sustaining 
It now, is. Claudia, you you came from the mortgage industry as as well as you as well, Crystal. But uh, Claudia, coming from the mortgage industry, we've had a lot of changes obviously since mm-hmm. October third. How what, what do you think about a lot of those changes? I mean, do you like them? Do you not like them? What are some of your thoughts on it? From a real estate perspective, how how it's potentially either impacted positively or negatively. I mean, well, there, I mean, there's going to be changes, and I mean, they're and they're done for for you know for great purposes. I think with the the, the you know the whole three day, um, if something is wrong on the closing <laughs> statement, you know, people were getting scared, and you know, because maybe they're trying to sell another home, and now they have to wait for the buyer another three days, and they so there's got I mean, so that right there, I think where it's gets kind of scary but you know it puts the agents the title the lenders in check they better know it, they, they better have everything correct and know what they're doing you mm-hmm. know because i think a lot of the changes were happening at the closing table yeah and that's really and, unfortunate but 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 i think most real estate agents love the fact <laughs> that they can have all that information three days in advance mm-hmm. of course some of the issues that i've seen happen is that some we have a form of course that basically says we can see the buyer side of of the of the settlement but there are some title companies that aren't recognizing that. So it's really hard to do our job if we can't actually be able mm-hmm. to review documents. And so that I think there needs to be some tweaking of CFPB. I don't mm-hmm. think it's going to go away. Uh, but it, I think some of the changes were, were positive. I think so. And especially yeah. from, a, from again, from agents. Because how many times did you walk into a closing and you still hadn't gotten a HUD-1? Um a minute Many before, times. yeah, yeah, and then you find out it's wrong. Yeah, I and, mean, I've, I've been at a title yeah. where I was there, you know, more three, four, five hours sometimes because you you go send it back to the lender and and you're basically online to for them to to work on that file. So and that's actually so, what maybe decide never to use. Uh, mm-hmm. Well, I'm not going to throw mortgage <laughs> brokers under the bus, but mortgage bankers they're doing their own underwriting. But, and if there's an issue at a closing, they can redraft documents like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You do other. You, some other entities, uh, they can't, you know. So you might be waiting you know, a whole day or maybe two days to get mm-hmm. that thing turned around. So, so I like to have it three days to advance. That's the really good positive thing about that. I would agree. I would absolutely agree. So, How can we reach you if you don't mind? Um, my uh, website address is um, uh, the right price matters. Oh, I like dot that. Com. <laughs> and that. my number is 832-377-9256. And that is the amazing Claudia Price. The amazing. Keller Williams, right Price. Keller, Keller Williams Greater Dot Northwest. Com. Out there with Danny, our man Danny. Our, our Danny Frank, yes. Yep, yep. Yeah. Good friend of the Real Estate Rat Pack radio show right he there. He was on our premiere show, actually. That yeah. is correct. He that needs is, to bring us some barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, he needs to bring us some Killings Barbecue next yeah. time he comes. <laughs> that is busy. true. Danny, we need some barbecue up in here. Danny, we need some barbecue. It's a big shout out to you, bud. <laughs> Anyways, you know, we still have one more segment to go. It's an open mic. We're going to have all these ladies back. We're going to be talking about a lot of different subject matters. But before we do so, we have one more time to thank all of our sponsors. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. 